Hello and welcome, my name is Victor. I'm standing on a beautiful North Shelby Disco Park today and with me I have some fresh FD C-Line fair drivers from Discmania. And today I'm going to talk about how they feel in hand, the plastic, and I'm going to show you how the disc flies and so on. So let's get right into it. So this is how the disc looks in the profile. Uh, but how it fits in hand, so this is the C-Line plastic, it fits really nice in hand, it's it produced in Sweden, represent, and uh, you can get some really nice grip on it, uh, and it looks really good, uh, it's just beautiful. But I'm starting to question if the, the, if the new C-Line plastic, when it's produced in Sweden, has some more, it's, it's, it's a more overstable plastic. Because I think all the new uh, discs this main have uh, released when it's produced in Sweden, the discs have shown some really nice stability to it. So depending on if you want a more uh, straight flying disc, or if you want a disc with some stability to it, the Ceylon plastic uh, I think shows that over stability or stability. Uh, but let's get to talk about more that when, if, when I talk about all the different shots. Uh, but that's how it flies, uh, how it feels in the hand and how it looks. Let's get over to the flight numbers. So this disc has the flight numbers of a 7 of speed, 6 in glide, 0 in turn and a fade of 1. Uh, I think those flight numbers are quite accurate. I might even want to change the fade to a 2 uh, instead actually. But uh, yeah, let's show what I mean when we get over to the different shots. We start with Heiser. When I threw the FD on the high serve shot, there was no question about it. The disc is just going to hold the high serve line the whole way. I actually throw in a bit of a, a headwind, but uh, the disc never really want to uh, flip up too flat or anything like that. Uh, it just uh, pushed forward on the high serve angle and then the fade kicked in and took the disc to the left. Uh, yeah, that's the high serve shot. Let's get over to when I threw it on a flat shot. When I threw the FD on a flat shot, the disc could push forward for, uh, for a nice bit, but in the end the fade kicks in and takes the disc to the left. But here I want to talk a bit about, more about the stability, uh, as I mentioned earlier. Uh, if I throw, would throw my Explorer, I think that these discs would almost have the same flight, uh, the same flight. Uh, but the Explorer has a, a fade of two in the end, or, and, and not a one. And I would almost even say that the FD one, the FD feels more stable than the than my Explorer. But I think almost that the FD deserves the two in fade. I think it's always stable. I do. Let's get over to when I throw it on the Anheuser, the last shot. When I threw the FD on the Anheuser, here once again we can see the overstability of the disc. Uh, the disc pushes forward in the Anheuser angle, but quite early fades over to the left uh, and uh, fades to the left. Uh, yes, uh, one, <laughs> one, one disc just uh, flipped over, uh, faded really early and took the disc to the, to the left, and one pushed forward for a bit more long time and pushed some uh, nice distance. But overall, overstable disc, I would say. Uh, so let's summarize this disc. So what kind of disc is the new FD from Discmania? I would say the new FD is a stable to overstable fair driver. Uh, I actually got a bit surprised of uh, uh, how, uh, how much the overstability shown uh, when I threw the disc. Uh, I thought this was going to be a more neutral flight, but uh, yeah, that doesn't mean it's a bad disc, it's just a more <laughs> disc with a more overstability than I thought it was going to have. Uh, but overall, looks so freaking good. The plastic feels real nice. If you want a, a fair driver which looks good, feels good and flies uh, straight with a bit of stability to it, try out the new FD from the Discmania. Uh, so that's it. I hope you enjoyed the video and got all the answers you were looking for. Uh, if you wonder anything about the disc, just let me know in the comment sections below and I'll try to answer your questions as soon as possible. Other than that, have a great day and week and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.